harvest mega food and then mega wood i mean i have the village over there so that my job should be a little bit quicker on that on that end i wonder like i hate like talking about like which metrics talking about like the logistics of why i stream certain things or how i stream certain things and then it just seems more like a like a numbers game but anyway i wonder like what makes minecraft streams interesting you know what i mean it's because it's like if i don't have a direct goal in mind what makes it enjoyable because then it's like well i'd rather I'd rather, I'd rather go play it myself right i, I kind of think about that i think that's one reason i also stay away from minecraft streams because i feel like if you're not kind of speed running minecraft or something like you have like something interesting in mind i feel like most people aren't going to really care to watch because it's like oh i don't know that doesn't really you know whatever they're doing doesn't interest me i feel like at that point yeah it's all like personality personality that's that's so much easier said than done right it's so much easier to just be like yeah you know just be a personality streamer because that's what will draw people in to draw people in it's all it's all about how you present yourself on, on socials i guess it's like it's reaching audiences and bringing them to twitch um that's the hardest thing it's, it's the reaching on other platforms tiktok makes that leagues easier but really at the same time it doesn't like it's easier to find people but it's harder to keep people's retention tiktok is a place where people are trying to find new content every few seconds right it's like your content has to be like that good for someone to want to stick around your content for like a long time right mostly like funny people or like really informative people tend to be the ones that keep people the the longest right because you have something to consistently offer like a content creator you know what i mean i'm done i'm a dime a dozen in that department so like i could do something but that doesn't necessarily mean i'm doing it better than someone else so you might want to go to the you know next available streamer because it's like oh why do i have to stick with this one guy when i can get more content from this other person you know what i mean but think about what i can do to my stream to make it better or what can i I do on other platforms to get people to retain and that's where i think people start kind of going overboard and like over exaggerating their streams and like trying to do things like constantly do wild things because i mean to an extent yeah it does keep retention and it does like make people be like oh wow this guy is crazy i wonder what else he'll do and it makes people want to stay but at some point it does get a little tiring or you know if it's fake you can at some point you can tell it's it's fake so you just you don't really care for it, it just i think it just depends i think i think of like someone like speed like i'm i know a lot of people were convinced that speed was just gonna fall off he was just another kind of just crazy streamer just doing the most to get attention but i think to a certain extent that's true but speed is also just a constantly entertaining guy like he will like he doesn't just stick to one thing and that's the thing that's what so many people is that they just stick to one thing and then when people get tired of it they don't they don't keep watching but speed does a lot of different things actually like uh, the, the whole talking ben thing and they did vr uh right now he's on this fifa thing and he's huge because of it man he, he's 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 blown up like crazy with the whole fifa stuff it's good for him honestly and then just collabing with with other streamers the music and now he's doing this whole crypto thing which you know people are you know are saying it's a scam and whatnot no obviously speed's trying to i guess alert people to, that is a scam or something i don't know but the, the point is that speed is constantly doing something different and it's not just the same repetitive i like men i like men he still does it sometimes but it's not like overdrawn so that's why someone like speed is someone who can be constantly enjoyed whereas you have a lot of other people where it's like they they blow up from one thing and they stick to it because they think that's gonna that's gonna keep them like they they get they blow up from one thing and they're like oh i got cop i gotta keep making content on this one thing because this one thing is what people want when in reality it's 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 not one thing that's the one thing they found funny but that's not the one thing they're searching for in content gotta be very versatile with your craft man you can't just stick to one gimmick some people it works but at some point it will fall off like one gimmick will only get you so far whether it's one video a month of videos it's it, people fall off people are always going to fall off it's a constant game of evolution um and if you can't do that then you aren't you aren't going anywhere so then i think of that and i'm like okay so i know this so how do i apply it to my stream i don't know i i think i take too long to do different things like i i kind of i do what i enjoy and that's good but i feel like that only really works long term when you already have an established audience who will come back for you not what you're doing obviously what you're doing is part of the reason that people are coming or that could be the reason people find you but for people who rely on their personality more than their act like what they're actually doing i don't know what i was gonna say i know my point but i don't know wh where i was leading like i just completely brain farted i'm sorry I, I don't remember where i was going about like content or something but i don't know like germa came into my mind and then i completely brain farted and i just started thinking about germa and nothing but Ger oh, oh i was saying people who rely on their personality i think i was gonna say once you like have that audience then like 
doesn't matter what you do because people are coming to you for whatever like i and the reason i started thinking of germa is because germa does a lot of things he doesn't just play one game and uh, you know to that extent i would love to be able to do multiple different things but it's kind of like i guess as a smaller streamer i have to kind of meta game stuff right now and like do things that will bring people in do things that will bring people in and kind of have that as my attraction factor and then over time as they get more familiar with me and like my content for me then i can start doing different stuff i remember plenty of times where people came into my stream for one subject specifically and i can tell that's what they were mostly looking for and then when i wouldn't do that as much then they just wouldn't show up as much and that's okay right like, like i don't blame anyone for leaving a stream if they don't enjoy the content or they don't stick around as much because they don't enjoy the content there's plenty of times where you run into someone and it's like this one thing is good enough to you that you follow them because you're like oh my god i love this and i want to see more of it and then they don't provide that so you're like okay i might as well not stick around as much no it's it's, it's it, there's there's oh, there's hundreds of other people that can provide what what that other person is not providing so i don't blame anyone but it's just hard it's, i think i think it's always hard is it's hard for everyone in, in reality whatever you're doing it's hard like i think of even like competitive streamers what they do you know you're trying to show off your skill but really there's hundreds of uh, you know upon hundreds of people trying to show off their skill as a streamer so in reality you got to be like that top one percent to really draw people in because if you're not then people don't really have a reason to watch you you know what i mean if you're doing just as good as every other streamer then why are people gonna come to your stream i don't think enough people realize that you know with their whole streaming thing i don't think enough people realize that like it's gonna sound harsh but people don't care about you as much as i think people want to think they do they have everybody has their own lives they have their own interests their own careers their own hobbies or impact like everybody has in their own life and you know with that being said it's like it's hard to give a dedication to someone else especially time because time is something that's really important to people right so if you take away someone's time like it has to be worth it and if your stream just ain't providing what they want then, then they're not going to give you their time you know what i mean so you have to really stick out and if you're you know if you're decent at a video game but not decent enough then why would anyone give you their time like they might as well just go watch shroud or someone because shroud is a proven veteran who is very good at gaming he does things on the regular that people would consider insane so it's like yeah of course i'm gonna give shroud my time he deserves it or i'm gonna go on youtube and have someone who's put together a compilation of clips I give them my time because they did my job for me i didn't have to go to his stream to see it i just went to this compilations of a lot of epic moments at once whereas someone might have a good clip every now and then it's like there's no reason to watch you really there there is none i remember one i'm not i don't remember what the guy's page was and i i kind of feel bad like talking about him because i don't want to talk about him like i like i like i'm putting him down and i guess this kind of can seem as like a misinterpretation of what he was saying but i remember it was a gaming uh page and then he said i'm funny and entertaining just need the thousand to prove it i'm, I'm pretty sure he's implying he needs the thousand to go live on twit or twit on tiktok because i think you need to have a thousand followers it's either a thousand or 10k followers to prove it. i don't remember but he's saying i need the thousand to prove it so he he himself is asking people to give him the platform in order to to show himself off and is he is what he's doing inherently a bad thing no there's nothing wrong with it you know he feels like he can you know he he can prove that he is funny that he is entertaining that he's good at games it's just you know there is a high margin he needs to meet so he's asking if people can help him meet that margin and like that's not a wrong thing to ask it's not like begging for views or anything you know he's not going on to people's pages i didn't find his comment because he was like yo come check me out instead i'm better i'm this i'm that he wasn't doing that that's not why i found him and like if it was that then i'd be like dude that's cringe but he wasn't he was just a, he was just a random page i happen to see that said need the thousand to prove it it's hard because i get like why someone would ask that but in reality you need to prove why you deserve the a thousand you can't just say i am worth it just trust me that's an investment and that's an investment of a thousand people you're asking a thousand people to get you know and a follow isn't hard if, uh, in reality it's not hard to be like yo can i get a thousand follows um and, but even that i think you need more than just that on tiktok to go live I, I should probably be live on tiktok right now i think that's why having edited streams upload to youtube and all allows people to not sacrifice their time to the same extent and in turn watching youtube make people think hmm and you know what you're right that that is what i lack the most on is turning my streams um from twitch to youtube and the biggest part is because i get in my head like i'll go back and like i'll think the stream is really good and then i'll go back and i'll be like man it wasn't that good i won't upload this one it's like it's really like i i get to like i i get to like 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 oh this has to be a perfect upload but i like it's really not that like obviously i want my my content to have quality but i have to remember that quantity matters too like i'm not i can't just put out persistent perfect quality because it's not possible no one puts out perfect quality like 10 out of 10 banger videos every single time usually you'll have like good a, a good steady stream of content that people enjoy but it's not like you know the most different thing and then you'll maybe have that one video that is like yo this one is your best video yet this was your funniest video yet this this and then it like it grows and tracks 
reaction and then more people start coming and i have to remember that i just i get in my head way too much about these things where i just think like nah this video ain't good enough I, I can't put it up so yeah i do i do need to do more of that in the in you know just yeah it, it, i think the whole content creation thing is like it is a huge constant battle in general like things that pertain to your passion as a human you know this is gonna sound weird but if it doesn't really value or add like something that important to society not to say entertainment isn't important entertainment is incredibly important but to that extent you don't need you don't need hundreds of thousands of entertainers the same way you need hundreds of thousands of like iron workers or something that is a necessity of life we need construction workers and you need those people because they build housing they build facilities they build hospitals they build things that we need every single day and entertainment is something you can provide for yourself it is a necessity as a human to be entertained because you know we were made to enjoy things we aren't we don't just no one likes to be bored all the time you know you want to do something funny anyone can entertain themselves you can have a stick and entertain yourself for like an hour you know just going around hitting random things or just looking at like you know you you have that ability but not everybody has well I, i'm yeah no i'm sorry but no, not everybody has the ability to just go out become an iron worker some people just maybe like maybe they don't have the smarts for it or they don't have the strength for it or something like maybe they have a you know something that keeps them from being able to pursue it you know you know what i'm saying it's like those things that are more important but not everybody needs content so you have to prove why someone should give you their time and that's something i think not enough people realize that or realize as well just listening right now on the general topic of why growing your platforms comic i can imagine it being up on youtube entitled the struggles you know it's funny <laughs> i i also get like in my head about making videos like that as a small content creator do i have a big, big enough platform to complain about that in reality every every small content creator can complain about the same thing that i'm at i haven't gotten to the point where it's like oh yeah i made it out and i can tell you how hard it is as a small person because every you know you'll hear hundreds of thousands of small content creators complaining and unfortunately i think there's in general there's kind of a certain bias to content creators where it's like oh boohoo you're complaining about sitting all day and playing video games it's like what you're you know why are you complaining what you're doing isn't hard and i agree with that but i also disagree with that it's not as hard as like like i said like like construction or something there's no there's no denying that. it's there's the physical mental drain of being a construction worker putting 40 50 60 70 80 90 100 hours in a work week it's just not comparable but to say it isn't hard i also don't agree with making your passion become your career is a very hard and can be a taxing thing it no it doesn't reach the same levels as someone in like you know a very hard working field it doesn't and i and i will never disagree with that but you also can't discredit that someone is putting work into their craft you know what i mean like someone did have to work to get where they're at and they constantly have to put that work in to keep that job because it's you know to that extent you go to a job like fries or fries just a general market store most jobs like that minimum wage jobs man like you can go there and do the minimum work and you'll be set for years you know what i mean like unless you're like you know trying to really make a living like if you're fresh out of high school and you know you just got some bills to pay you're doing minimum wage or minimum wage work at a minimum wage job like you're chilling you know what i mean for content creators you know you're sacrificing hours and people will probably disagree with saying sacrificing because it's like you're choosing to do it but to to that person it's a sacrifice because it's like i could be doing anything else i could be playing something else i could be drawing i couldn't be vr i could be watching youtube which is all entertainment in itself but it's not i'm essentially working you know i have a full nine to five job which you know people knew what i did then they'd probably be like that's not a real job but i have a full nine to five job and then i spend the other hours of the day doing this instead streaming and i love streaming i love doing it but sometimes i don't love doing it because you know sometimes it does suck not getting paid for streaming hours and hours on end sometimes it does suck getting a diminishing return when i'm you know when i am putting in work and i try to do an outreach it's it does suck sometimes there's no you know i i put effort into this and many other people put effort into this and so you you know you want that effort to be seen and you hope it is appreciated and sometimes when it doesn't you can lose motiv motivation for it it's just it has to mean that much to you that even if you're not winning right now you have to keep fighting because hopefully one day you will be winning but that's the difference between like this and like a minimum wage job like at in the beginning it's it's all it's all giving and no yeah, yeah it's all giving no getting i will give thousands of hours of my time before i make a thousand dollars you know what i mean you can give a job a hundred hours and you'll get a thousand dollars let's do the math let's do the math real quick all right so let's make let's say you're making 14 30 an hour so let's say hourly my hourly wage is 14 14 30 and i work 25 hours a week estimated semi take home monthly so monthly you're making nine hundred and ninety four dollars there's four weeks in a there's yeah four weeks in a month so let's just uh, round it up. so you worked a hundred hours a month 
in two months, you made over $1,000. You made over $1,000 in that first month alone, but with tax, you only brought home 900. But if, and obviously, obviously you're not gonna have $1,000 unless you're really good at saving. Like you gotta be, you gotta be really saving on each of those checks. So obviously you're not making literally a thousand, but you see what I mean? Two, three months, 300 hours, you could be at $1,000 just like that. I've been streaming regular, well, semi-regularly for like a year and I've seen maybe $400, $400, $500 over time. So there's a, there's a stark difference difference in the pay you're getting from this and the pay you're getting from a from a from a you know a, a minimum wage job oh you're responding to what you're saying you're like yeah it's definitely okay to want to see the fruits of yeah exactly like i don't think anybody would disagree that no matter what you do you you know you want to see you know the results from it um but the difference is you can want and then expect right and i think that's where a content creator will draw the line i don't think you should ever expect it you know what I mean? You shouldn't expect those easy results because, it, you know, this isn't a, a get rich quick scheme. For some people it is, but for 90% of the people, it's not. It takes a lot of time, a lot of work. It's a huge dedication. People do this for 10 plus years. Some people are adults when they start and it takes them a good 10 years and they could be struggling for a good amount of that time before they actually start making something livable. You know what I mean? Because it does take a lot. Like you, cause you have to really sit there and realize what you're doing. Like the hours you're spending making content and then the, the amount of work you have to put in to get to certain points. But it's like you, you, when you, when you really start taking content seriously, and I mean, actually seriously, that's when you start to realize how much work it really does take. And it's that moment where you have to really sit there and decide, is this something I want to do? And some people, unfortunately, can't make that sacrifice so you can't shame someone for just doing it as a hobby so i didn't really have a place to end this video i just kind of kept talking but if you stuck around to the end thank you so much i was trying something a little different a little new here hope you guys enjoyed the video i'll be sure to do more stuff like this uh but yeah guys don't forget to like and follow catch you guys in the next one later